What if you had to make the choice between food and medicine? Between putting a few dollars of gas in the family car or paying for lunch? What if you didn't have enough money to buy school supplies or even to keep the power on at home? 46 million Americans, that's one in eight, are food insecure. Because of the affluence in our area, many people are unaware that Watauga County is the third poorest county in our state. One out of every four Watauga students lives in a food insecure home. These are kids whose parents might be sick or out of work, and certain times of the month they just don't have the funds to keep their families fed. Many don't even know where the next meal may be coming from. If you are experiencing food insecurity, or know of someone worried about their next meal, we'd like to make you aware of the Backpack Program here at Watauga High School. The Backpack Program provides a secure, nutritious source of food for students to take home from themselves and their family over school breaks and the weekends during the school year. So I want you to take a minute to think about all the kids at your school that get free and reduced lunch. They get two meals every single day at school and then they go home on breaks or they go home on weekends and suddenly all of this food is now gone. And I want you to take a minute to think about how you would feel if you two of your three meals a day were completely gone. Um, you'd probably be hungry and angry and really not wanting to do anything. Um, and so the backpack program is a way to support our friends who need our help. Um, we give them a backpack of food on Friday and it helps them uh, ensure that they'll be able to eat until they come back to school for those meals again. I think people underestimate the importance of food in your life. Uh, people forget that you need food to learn, to grow, to succeed, um, to just pay attention and to function throughout the day. Um, so food is something that everyone needs at all points in time. Um, and yet there's this huge stigma against people who don't have the access to as much food as everyone else. Um, we bully them, we hate on them, we call them the poor kid, the hungry kid, and uh, we make fun of them for needing to reach out for help. Um, and my family was one of these families. Uh, we didn't have a safe place to go. We didn't have resources that we could ask for um, and not feel ashamed. Uh, and so I think a huge turning point in our lives um, was a food pantry that delivered anonymously to our house. Um, we didn't have to reach out for help. There was no one judging us. Uh, there was just an anonymous person who said, you need this and we want to make your life better. Um, and it was great and it was a huge turning point for my parents um, to start getting access to resources. We enrolled in SNAP, we were able to get Medicaid uh, and our lives kind of turned for the better at that point. Um, and I think an important lesson to take away is that you can be that for somebody else. Uh, you can be that light in their life. You can help turn someone else's life around. Um, and you can do it by talking to them uh, in person about it, uh, offering them some of your lunch, or if you feel uncomfortable, simply just going to a teacher for them. Um, your friend is probably afraid, they're scared, they're ashamed, they're embarrassed, they don't want to feel these feelings, but they do. Uh, and you can just go to a teacher and ask them to check on the kid for you. Um, and that's a huge difference that you can make to, for someone.